Hey guys, Rob out here on a beautiful, beautiful uh, May day. As you guys can see, I'm right by the water as usual, down at one of my favorite spots out here in Bluffton. In fact, we were out today. Uh, we have some clients to come look at our 2007 fountain. Um, and in the meantime, we have picked up another listing. And this is a preliminary walkthrough video, although it should pretty much cover all the bases for you guys. This is a, uh, this is a, this is actually a good catch. Uh, this is a 2006 Angler Panga 2600. Uh, and these are sought after in the marketplace. And um, I feel uh, it's a privilege um, to actually uh, be able to list this and, and, and hopefully get this sold. And I'm going to give you guys a quick walkthrough. As you guys know, I try to give you uh, the brass tacks on the boat, especially for you people out of the country and out of the state that want to get a good look at the vessel. I just trying to give you an honest, non-technical walkthrough of the boat. So when you do come, I'm glad that noise is on in the background because that is uh, not helping me any. Uh, as well as you can see, bottom paint. But what I'll do is I'll talk a little bit louder as usual and get you guys through this vessel. 2600 Panga. Uh, I've inspected the outside hull and it is in really, 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 really good shape. Clean and neat. You guys see what I'm seeing. Um, the bottom paint uh, looks fresh, but looks like, uh, you know, maybe after the season I might update it. Uh, looks like soft paint. And um, overall, I deem it in okay shape, but she's probably due after the season for a fresh coat of bottom paint. As you guys can see, you got a couple little spots now starting to come off. So uh, keep that in mind and, and making your assessment, although that's really not the seller's issue. That's standard maintenance. And as I walk through, overall, the rub rail's in good shape. You got a couple spots where it's a little rough. Um, basically, uh, you know, not getting the fenders out in time. You know, with the short beam on this, uh, I can see that being the case. And as we go through and we take a quick look, on inspection, you got a little bit of a mark here. You got a little chippy right here, a little gooba right here. Uh, you know, nothing to freak out about. Just a couple little spots, as you would expect in an 06. And you got a little spot right here, and it looks like one here. That's just a dry eraser, dry eraser, and one here, tiny, 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 and one here, Oop, and one right here. So you guys can see you probably got about six or eight little chips in it. Um, but you know, once again, I want to show you guys that up front. So for most people, really that isn't a big deal. But you know, I'd hate for you to walk in front of the vessel and go, hey, why didn't you tell me about a couple little nicks and scratches? The rest of the boat looks like it could use a little bit of on off, um, you know, to get it cleaned up. Uh, you know, swim ladder looks in good shape. You got Lenko trim tabs, uh, 19 pitch, three blade stainless steel propeller. And this is powered uh, by a, um, what we're registering as an 04 manufactured 225 CLXEFI Mercury Yamaha. This motor was actually built by Yamaha in that year. A 225 uh, Mercury built by Yamaha. Uh, as you guys can see, it's got a jack plate. A couple little nicks on the cowling. But overall, you know, in good shape. Uh, Tim's Marine Service. Uh, does a service on this vessel annually and this vessel has 737 hours I'm gonna call it 740 because uh, by the time I take this boat out and 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 tear it up uh, I will put a few hours on this vessel so just to give you guys a quick look now that you've seen that we're gonna pop up and in and I have been through the inside of the boat I'll try and take the shakiness out in editing so you guys don't get seizures watching this it is you're showing zero any you're showing no discernible stress on this vessel anywhere. Um, I can't find a crack or anything that you would, you know, deem something to even be concerned about. Now what's nice is on this 2600, I'm at the center console right now and look how much more room we got up on this vessel. Um, I mean, it is what a nice treat. And you guys can see how thin that beam is right there. So we're going to take a walk up and I'm just showing you guys as we walk through. As you guys know, personal items as seen, not included. Although I'm sure an anchor will go with it. Cushions are in really good shape. You got storage up under each cushion. Let's just double check that over here, although we won't flip it up. There's your gas entry. I'll try and verify our gas tank size up in here. I know we have cooler up underneath. 
right there. Once again, you guys can see the cushion is in great shape. As you guys walk through, uh, lip looks great. I'm gonna go through now. This is something I do want to point out because you guys know Rob tries to really keep it as honest as possible. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this caulking job, so that would be something I would redo. Uh, really, the only real icky um, spot that I'm seeing up by this uh, live well is, uh, you know, it's a little offbeat on that caulking. I would have probably done a little better job than that. But hey, um, if that's as bad as it gets, overall you're doing just fine. Uh, live well, uh, that's got to be at least about 100. I'd say that's about a 1 or a 110. I'll verify that. Uh, helm cushion in great shape. Um, let me just bounce over here for you guys. You guys can take a look down in the storage area. What I'm going to do is kick on the batteries real quick. You guys can get a good look there, hopefully. Personal items I've seen, not included. And let's just take a quick look up. As you guys can get a, uh, a view of the panel. We got a Garmin 3210 GPS map. Let's turn that on for you. See, that's functioning. Uh, let's go right here. Stereo is functioning. And I had this functioning there. So overall, you know, no real issues. I have not had the vessel out on the water, but my service guy has. So um, I'm trying to speak with intern. And hopefully you guys can see there 737 hours. So no worries there. So overall, you just have a beautiful, well sought after clean boat. Um, cooler. I'm going to assume that's going to go with it, but we can always verify that. I see a cushion up over here, but I don't see one here. Um, now let's just assume it, it's lost. And if it's found and it does have it available, then yay. Um, but let's just go uh, as uh, least amount of expectations as possible. And here I'm looking, uh, right here as you guys can see up on the transom, I got no issues except it looks like by the placement of the jack plate, uh, maybe if you come up a little bit too hard with the motor on a tilt up, it looks like there was a couple times where that uh, kind of dented in. So I might want to keep an eye on that. Um, and that's just as simply as it's charged just in the jack plate, my guess. My service guy said he guessed probably about an inch and a half, two inches, uh, if you're going to be traveling motor up a lot. This vessel also comes with a trailer. I actually shot a video of the trailer for you guys and also took a picture. But overall, solid, clean vessel. This one's not going to be given away. Reasonable offers will be considered. But overall, that's going to do it from here. Oh, let's pop on up. Let's take a quick look at the T-top. I'm sorry, I forgot to get that up in there. Uh, I'm looking right here. I don't see, oh, that's actually just a Velcro. We got no zipper issues there. That's just overpacked. And as far as the T-top goes, it's pretty clean and neat. And let's just take a quick pop up. Well, there's the pollen. But just so you guys can see what's going on up here. Overall, beautiful 2006 Panga, 225. Mercury, built by Yamaha, annually serviced by Tim's Marine. Turnkey, ready for the water, and we'll try and get this boat out on the water uh, in the next couple days for a sea trial, or, you know, come on down and we'll see you trial it with you if you want to put it under contract. Anyway, Rob out here. I'm always in hotwater.com, hoping this helps out. And you guys have a great and safe boating day. Rob signing off.